Bye. Okay, so some guy thinks that he's created a drug that can cure autism. What? Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan, I have autism and ADHD, and I make weekly videos all about this. So if you're new around here, you wanna help me out and learn more, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below by clicking that notification bell. And if you haven't already downloaded my free autism life hacks PDF book, you can do now at autismhacks.net, link is down below. Okay, guys, oh my gosh, okay, so. I came across this article, right? I'm going to leave this article linked in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. Um, and it's called like a drug that cures autism, right? So a neuroscientist yields promising results. And this, this is what it says. It says, uh, on a groundbreaking study that uncovered a potential drug that cures autism, the study conducted by a team of scientists at the University of California in San Diego identified small molecule that can effectively treat autism in mice. I mean... <laughs> I have so many questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read out this next part and then, then we'll, we'll talk about it. So according to the study, a small molecule drug targets a protein called MET, which plays a crucial role in the brain development and is also believed to be involved in the development of autism. The drug was found to improve social interaction and communication in mice. What? And ASD-like symptoms providing hope for the development of a cure for ASD in humans, right? I, I, yeah. Okay, where do I start? Okay, so first of all, Mice are not humans. A mice's brain is not like a human's brain. How do you how do you how do you study social interaction within mice versus an intellectual intelligent being like a human being, right? You can't do that. So this guy, what's this guy talking about, man? How do they show in mice the same as they do in humans? Because this doesn't work. Like mice are mice, they're non-verbal, right? For a start, they don't, they don't communicate. How are you gonna, sp how do you increase social interaction? You don't see a mice going down to the pub or playing games and stuff, right? Really interesting that they'd say this. But at the end of the day, does it not strike anybody else as being like super odd that somebody would like test something on mice and then say this is for autism? Now, since the dawn of time, people have been trying to do eugenics on autism and try to cure it and stuff like that because they think that you can cure autism through forced therapies, all kinds of horrible things like shock therapies, um, bleaching in your, your gut and stuff like that. These are all like horrible, stupid, unethical rubbish that doesn't actually work and you cannot cure autism because it's the way your brain develops neurologically. So when you're being born, neurological paths typically grow like this, right? Right? But when you're on the autism spectrum, your neurological paths typically, they just go and they, they go out of the typical sequence and they mend a different way, which means that those neurological paths are already mended. They're already there. You've created your brain neuroscience chemistry off being born, regardless of what mice do. This doesn't make any sense. I'd love to know your opinion on it because it really grinds my gears when I hear people say like, oh, I've made this drug to cure autism. It's like, first of all, you don't need to cure anything. Second of all, you can help treat something, you can improve the quality of life, but you cannot cure something that's neurological. This is so weird. I'd love to know. What are your thoughts on it? Pop it in the comment down below. Give this video a like if you want it interesting and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.